right, the time is finally here. I know there's a million dog box subscription programs going on. I think BarkBox is the one that started it all. Um, but they never really appealed to us at all. If you see our pups here, Edu has his cone on because he has a uh, cut over here that he keeps licking. So that's what he's got that on there for. But um, with our dogs, most of these boxes are pretty gimmicky. The toys look like they're for chihuahuas or shih tzus or something like that. It's nothing that would last more than a two, two, three seconds with a real dog. So we've been holding out on partnering up with any of these dog box programs until these guys came along. This is probably the perfect program for us because it doesn't have any gimmicky toys. It's just high quality dog treats, single ingredient. Um, all the chews are air dried as opposed to any heat. So that will avoid any splintering that you might get and uh, make these bones a lot safer and healthier. I also like the box. No use of ink, no unnecessary ink over it. So here we go. What we have today are, ooh, some smelts. This is the seafood of the month. Some dried smelts. I already know these guys are crazy about smelt. The organ meat of the month is pork liver, dehydrated as well. Ooh, the heavy chew. This is always, oh, is these tracheas? Let's see, beef tracheas, yes, oh my god. This is one of their favorites, there's three of them, so I'm gonna have to cut one in half. And then, the super chew. Now this is actually something that might last more than a few seconds. I know Kaya, being our strongest chewer, she's going to have a go at this. So if Kaya can't defeat this in a few seconds, it's going to be pretty hard. She's 95 pounds of pure bone crushing destruction and sunbathing princess. Ooh, so duck feet. This is actually kind of hard to find. Even if you have Asian markets in your area, especially dehydrated duck feet, you're just not going to find it unless you dehydrate them yourself. Um, these are great. They have a lot of glucosamine in them, which is good if your dog have hip or joint issues like our dog Nala does. Nala, what are you doing? Come here. And you can see anything can be fixed. This dog right here is going to be put down for dual hip dysplasia. She had surgery on her right hip, but her left hip now doesn't need it because the surgery was actually a terrible, terrible process. Six month recovery. She was in pain throughout most of the process. Um, it's really hard to deal with with work and everything. You have to take a lot of time off just to help her get to the bathroom and keep her from walking too much. But diet is the way to go. That's how we fix the left hip. When we went in for the second surgery, they're like, there's, there's really no need. And at her age, she's getting close to 10 years old now. She wouldn't recover that easily from another surgery. Huh, Noon? If you see her running around right now, you would never know she was 10, first of all. Second of all, you would never know she had dual hip dysplasia. Oh, you found the treats, Noon. See? She's usually crazy about playing fetch, but she's also now that she knows about Ross, she, she was on kibbles and bits when we first got her. But yeah, let's get back to this. The medium chew of the month, pigskin. That's one of their favorite. We actually have a bunch of frozen pigskin in there from a pig on a farm up in Vista. Chicken hearts, always one of the favorites. How do you feel about some chicken hearts, Nala? All right, so that's the box that we got so far. Here's some of the information. Oh, so each one of these treats has an information card. So I'll go through these when we do the actual feeding per treat. Okay, cool.